What's up, carpoolers? Welcome to Riding Shotgun with Corduroy Paco. What is that, you may ask? It's okay, you may ask it. It's an all new format for Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit. Don't worry, it's still gonna be here. I just got that theme song, I can't give up on that already. But this is gonna be a sit down interview show with some of your favorite YouTubers and other people in music and sports and entertainment. Let's give this young man a lift. Thanks, man. Who is this? Could it be none other? Hello, how's it going? I'm Jory Curran. How's it going, man? It's going all right. It's going all right. For you on YouTube, how did you get into it? Like, how did you um, develop the following and everything? I started with uh, the microwave show. Mm -hmm. I was doing um, online video before that on like different sites, and I never gave YouTube much attention. But then, um, in college, moving out, found a bunch of microwaves and a bunch of stuff to put in them, filmed them, one on. Uh, YouTube and I think just sheer luck we jumped in on the ground floor and we had a consistent show before like anyone else had a consistent show. So we're posting consistently, posting a lot, short episodes and there's a lot of pyromaniacs out there and we fit the bill for that. So, nice. so you've been doing it like since the beginning? Yeah, As so. the show we've been on there since 2007. So for those that don't know what is the show? It's over now, but the main show was uh, we microwaved stuff. Basically, it's every pyromaniac dream. Yeah. What happens when you put uh, a snow globe in a microwave? What happens when you put an airbag from a car? That was one of the most exciting ones. A spray paint can in a microwave. Usually, destruction and fire. That's the bread and butter right yeah, there. You always achieve the goal. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're not so much like what you do every day kind of law. You kind of come in with the no, topic no. and kind of go with I it. I actually tried that once where I had a busy day, like a number of things to do, like five things to do. And I brought a camera with me and I never videotaped it. Um, yeah. I think it's mostly because when I'm in a situation where I'm having fun, vlogging is not my first instinct. I'm not going to turn on a camera because... You know, the people who usually go to, say, you're going to an amusement park and they have a camera on the whole time, it's like, you can't be having that much fun right now. Yeah. And I, it's really awkward, too. And I guess maybe with me, usually the more interesting stuff that I like doing, it would be, uh, it would be really difficult to film. Say, for instance, just random vlog stuff, and this isn't interesting, I don't know why I just transitioned to it, <laughs> but I just recently moved. And I was thinking, wow, I should probably film a little bit of it as a, hey, I'm going on this big trip. I should film a lot of it to present to my audience. If I was to film it, me moving took a day. It would have probably taken two days. Yeah. I didn't have that time. I don't know where these people find time to do it. <laughs> like, and I'm not, I don't think I'm interesting enough to have another person sit there and videotape me. <laughs> yeah, that's why I that's, I, that's so cocky. That is... I am so interesting. I need a camera person on me 24-7. <laughs> on YouTube, there was a YouTuber I found who did vlogs of elevators. And not, I guess vlogs isn't the right word. He would go into an elevator and be like, ooh, this is a really nice Otis. What's the max capacity? Okay, it's an oh, industrial yeah. one. It's a hydraulic lift system. And he had a huge following. And as soon as I saw that, I realized, you know, it isn't how to make the best video. It's how to make the best videos. Like. There's a person who will watch this. Uh, you want to show cat videos? Not my thing. There's a huge audience out there for cat videos. I myself am just struggling to find people who want to see somebody talking to themselves in a car. Yeah. That's I'm trying well, to still get that niche audience. It's not trying to find how to make a video for your audience. You also need to draw in a new audience. I'm sure out there somewhere there is another person who does car vlogs. Oh yeah. So sure. you'll have to find them and find a way to and off squeeze them, in there. I think. <laughs> off them. That's what I got. It's competition. <laughs> Just slashes tires. Yeah. The ultimate car yeah. vlog. We should uh, do the car vlog challenge. of chicken. Like both of us at the same <laughs> time driving just driving each, each other. other. <laughs> Whoever does got to take down the channel. Two chat. live deaths at once. <laughs> Are you happy that with YouTube you used your name and not like? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I guess I am fortunate enough to have the name Jory, which is very uncommon, I've heard, you know. And I never had to deal with trying to find my own name. Like, yeah, yeah. there are certain, oh, I'm Brian Smith. Well, that's great. Uh, yeah. That's great. I'm lucky enough that if you type Jory in there, you will find me. Yeah. And that is great. I've met a lot of people who have done fake names or their brand name, and usually they regret it. Yeah, that's right. Usually I mean. they regret it. Mostly because the audience tries to figure out your name. 
Mm-hmm. And then you have this false sense of security, like, ooh, I have this name. And then you get contacted, and they're like, I know your real name. And that's like, you're like looking through your blinds, like, are you out there? <laughs> that was the creepiest thing. I had someone, I mean, I didn't have to worry about the name, but I did have someone like, this is your address. It's like, okay. Really? Step back a little bit. That's yeah. Good. That's crazy. Creepy, creepy creepiness. That's like Beatles and it stuff. Happens. Yeah. Uh-oh. I'm... I'm okay to say it. I'm bigger than Jesus. You know? <laughs> I don't care. I, he never put anything in a microwave. Yeah. I mean, if time. he had a microwave, do you know how much easier it would have been to convert people? <laughs> like, in his time? Like, by the way, check this out. Oh, you have a, a leg of lamb? Cooked. Yeah. What? Yeah. What just happened? He probably would have converted people just by hitting the buttons. Beep. What was that noise? It's God. Oh, you you just turned water into wine? I just heated up hot chocolate. <laughs> what? <laughs> that just happened? Buttered popcorn, two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Weird question. Shoot. Give me your life in five words. It can either be a sentence or just five words that kind of hit you home. A big waste of time. That was the first thing that popped <laughs> in my head. Can we go with that? Sure, yeah. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> What's your best YouTube experience? That is a tough one. I mean, I'm sure you want this to be a little more pointed, but it's going to be really broad. The oh, yeah. people I've met through YouTube are amazing. I've met, I've met some of my best friends through YouTube. And it's amazing meeting people and seeing people who have an incredible passion for it. And they're working really hard and you see that starting to pay off for them. Starting to see someone who has a dream and a passion for producing video and they start to become successful on YouTube is a great thing to see. More so than even seeing success for myself on YouTube, I love seeing other people start to succeed and realize their dream. It's just, it's a beautiful thing to see. When I see people pass me in subscribers who are legitimately just more talented than me, that is one of the best experiences on YouTube. Cool. Nice. Well, I hope to one day be one of those people. I hope so. I hope so. You're extremely talented. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you. Why, thank you. I just ask those questions so I can get a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's the built right in. It's, yeah, I was yeah. like, all right, so when's he going to start talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, man. So here's your stop coming up. This so I guess. My stop. Uh, yeah, no, I think you're good here. We'll just. This is I it, right? I don't even know where this is. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Well, thank you. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.